but it was uh it was cool like I, I knew some shit about him but i learned some shit too so that that's always um that's always good like if, if it wasn't for him we wouldn't be in i wouldn't have been in michigan he wouldn't have met my mom he had when he was a teenager he he had to carve a car. He made a car out of like fucking plastic, like straight up plastic, and carved that bitch. Why? Won a contest. Oh. <clears throat> Went to Detroit. Brought brought a picture of some shit my grandfather designed, and three years later they called GM called him up. Went to Detroit to the GM, and they called up my grandfather and fucking interviewed him for a job. Ended up going from living in the projects working on uh washing machines to fucking being a designer of the like corvette stingray no kidding yeah and then my dad ended up, ended up working on the line oh, gotta be something <laughs> and then he got laid off <laughs> the tragic the tra the poetry is tragic but yeah them stingrays, they got a touch of Angelini in them. Remember that shit? And yeah, he was over at Pontiac truck, truck and bus. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Truck and coach, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah. So, today, what are we going to do? We're doing what would you do? Doing, uh. Got some news coming? Got some <laughs> fucking news. Got some fucking news coming, and uh, I think that's, I think that's it. Any calls? I feel like I didn't talk to anybody yesterday, so. Uh, not nope. worth taking at the moment, but they're not all good people. Taking. Was that? I'm sure they're all good people. Um, yeah, but. John likes y'all that are calling, but not enough to fucking, not enough to, you don't, he doesn't like you enough to get on the air. Doesn't have doesn't like you enough to get on the air. And I don't mean to keep harping on that shit, but like, yeah. If I sound a bit off, I am. I fucking am. It just takes time. Yeah, I guess. Um, it is uh I guess doing the show is a nice like having something to do, you know what I mean? Like Oh, absolutely. I I go crazy with that. Especially here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, especially here. So yeah. Thank God for the show. Oh, and I forgot to thank Orange Swift. They sent they sent a bunch of nice things for us. Uh, they're li longtime listeners of the show. They sent a bunch of nice stuff. So we were, uh, we were drinking good. We were drinking good for Big Ange. Fucking Big Ange. Drank it up. Um. Once again, John didn't send any flowers. So. Well, I mean, my, I was, uh, it, I, good night. <laughs> it, it, it had occurred to me at some point. How did you know the address, by the way? I was, because OQ hit you up. Yeah. Because he was, OQ was classy enough to send flowers, uh -huh. but, but, um. So, in one sense, I, I was involved with that project, so you could. You, you don't get to, you don't you get to eat off of that shit. It didn't say from <laughs> Orlando and John, it just said from Orlando. Without me, those flowers would have been uh, lost. To be fair, Shay didn't send, send anything either, so don't fucking no. feel bad. There's some good thoughts uh, coming your I way. I think they tweeted to me. <laughs> yeah, they probably did. That was nice. An IG comment. Yeah, there you go. There you fucking go. I've got uh, Joe. But it, was, it was cool. My, uh, one of my first albums was uh, Big Bamboo, and they sent flowers. So hmm. that was dope. Joe, what up, though? What up, dude? Shit, shit, chilling. Hey, man, you you need to hire the movers. They'll they'll come through and they'll make a box for for all your shit. Pack it up right. For real? They they won't damage your shit. They'll they'll hook it up. All right. <clears throat> buy, maybe buy I'll them, do that. Buy them guys some pizza or something. And you'll be straight. I think I might do that. It's um, yeah. It's the stereo equipment that's kind of got me, and then the artwork, hey, the statues and no shit. No doubt, man. They, they, they do this for a living. I used to do it for a living. Like, we'd be hooking people's stuff up. Uh, amazing. 
Well, you've had the to, money. You've had the stack. You you've had to pack old school stereo shit. Yes, everything. Oh, oh word! All right. I didn't know yeah. they got down like that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm all the yeah. way with that. I'm telling you, like like uh, they will make a box if they don't have a box that fits. They'll put like two boxes together, and, like make a box. Like they will customize shit. Like easy. He's selling me. Really. He's selling me on that moving shit. I thought I, I thought I was gonna just pack everything and then hire somebody to carry the boxes. Last time I had my boy hook me up and uh, he blew his knee out. He was fucked up for like three years. I felt awful. <laughs> we just old man, too old to be lugging shit. Especially when you get paid to talk for a living. Unless you're Cavino and Rich, those guys work out all the time and shit. Ellis too. Actually, you too, John. Yeah, it's uh, over there punching people uh, on Saturday. And look at you. Yeah. Mr. Punch Man, Punch Fest. Punch it in. All right. Enough of this talk. Why don't we go ahead and play some music? Come back with What Would You Do? It's an all out show. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You're listening to the all out show with you. Hey, how you doing out there? Good? Bad? Other? You don't know? Well, if you're doing good, good on you. Pat yourself on the back. You don't need to talk to me. If you're going through a thing, you are in luck because here I am. Sitting on my couch with nothing else to do but talk to you. I'm like a therapist. Except for I'm the one. I'm laying on the couch. And, you're, and you call me. And I'll give you fucking life advice. You having problems with your girl? Having problems with your guy? Having problems with your family? Don't call me with no legal shit. I don't know. I don't know shit about legal shit. All right, leave me out of that one. Work, any of that type of stuff. Friends, I got you. All you gotta do is dial eight 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 seven four two three three four five eight 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 seven four two three three four five, and uh, that'll that'll get you on the horn with me. And I'll keep it 100 with you. It is, uh, not all your friends are going to sh- give it to you straight. If you got a couple, if you got a couple people that'll tell you the truth in your life, you're a lucky person. But a lot of times they kind of, they sugarcoat things for you because they got to go out drink with you later. They don't want it to be awkward. You and I, we, we will not be drinking later. So, uh, I don't care if it's awkward. I'm going to tell you. What the fuck is going on as I see it? So pick up the phone dial 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. So what would you do? It's coming up next. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. It's like a ray of light beaming down knowledge from the heavens above. What would you do? You need advice? Call us up right now. 888 Shade 45. What would you do? Shade 45. All right, y'all. This is where I fucking solve your problems. Call up 888 742 3345, and I got your back. Who we got? Got uh, John here in California. All right. So here it is. So I just moved to California from Tennessee two years ago. Recovering mm-hmm. drug addict. Uh, clean from heroin and coke for three years, three days ago. Nice. Uh, moved in with my sister, and she needed help with bills, and the piece of shit was spilling the money, and she told me I had to leave. So I don't want to go back to Tennessee. So I get on a Facebook dating profile, and I, and I meet this bitch. And I fake it till I make it type shit. And she ends up falling in love with me, moves me into her house. She's got two kids, love me to death, and I fall in love with the kids. And she bought me a brand new fucking 2018 Maxima. And I want to fucking leave, but I have nowhere to go, and I feel bad for the fucking kids. I need help. What they call them shits, the... Uh, there's a word for them. The hobos or the fucking... The guys that fuck I was, with, dude. I the, was. The, I was. The and dudes that jiggabo. Ho, 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 hobos. Hobos. Was it? Bro, yeah. I was... I was one of those guys that used to hold signs on the side of the road begging for money homeless. Let's put it mm-hmm. that way. I was one so, of those guys. So you hustled your way up. You found yourself a Vic. 
and you a little nice little mark. You played her, and now look at you. Now you're like mm-hmm. like the kids and stuff like that. What do you do for uh, a job? I got a job, dude. Well, okay, so I was working for a warehouse for two years, third <laughs> shift, and I just started working in a marijuana dispensary a month ago. Man, do her a favor and everyone a favor in this shit and uh, get the fuck out of there. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm thinking, bro. That's what I'm thinking, man. It's a year. Like, Our anniversary is a year in like in three weeks. She already bought. She bought you a car in a year. Damn. I know. A car for my. When she got her income tax, she gave me two thousand to put down. I paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I damn. hear you laughing though. <laughs> I'm laughing just because this is like the oldest story in the fucking world. Jesus Christ, dog! She she bought you a Maxima with her income tax shit. The well, funny thing is, she got ten racks back, dude. She got ten racks, but I was helping those kids out. Like it was times when whatever she you need money to tell and yourself, I gave her the, whatever you need to tell yourself. I gave her eight hundred. Bro, I gave her eight hundred dollars so her son to go play hockey and a traveling yeah. hockey league. All right, I bought go. dinner every goddamn night. All right, so it sounds to me like you weren't totally fucking milking her for everything. Um, no, bro, no, 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 no. I'm not milking her at all. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not. Like, she no, offered to do it, you know. Of, kind of. I, mean, I, I kind of, kind of. I mean, I'm yeah, paying bills. Let's, let's, you know? Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. sure. That's real. That's real. That's you, real. You, you paying, you're paying bills? Like what, the rent? I am paying bills. Yeah. yeah, man, so she's got a house, and she's got fucking the whole family living in her fucking house, and the landlord renovated the garage and turned it to a studio apartment. And when my fucking sister bitched out on me, fucking had to put all my shit in storage yet. So he was like, 600 a month. I said, I'll take that shit. So I'll take it. So I got all my shit up storage shit. I got nice shit. So what are you going to do? Hold on a second. Like, so... All right, so just, man, I don't know, man. You just got to cut ties. You don't want to keep living like this. You don't want to keep living like this. Kids, you fuck the kids. the kids, bro. Well, well you, can talk, kids, her, bro. you can talk to her about being a part of the kids' lives, but just be like, look, I'm, yeah. romantically, I'm not, in, I'm, I'm not into it. And ultimately, it's up to her whether or not the kids see, see you. And you got to respect that, you know. You're not their real dad. But, you know. I love her, might. but I'm not in love with her. You love that fucking, you love that income tax return. Man, it's fucked up because I'm sitting here thinking about I can't wait till next time, next time, so I just rims my car. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> I, I listen to you. I am a piece of shit, bro. And I was yeah. waiting for you to say it. I was waiting for you. But hey, yeah, I, I, I can admit that. <laughs> Yeah, don't change things. At least you know you're a piece of shit. Do you want to continue? <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you want to continue being a piece of shit? Yay or nay? You know what I mean? Like, I think I think deep down you you, you called me because you you knew that you ain't behaving exactly how you want to behave. So why don't you fucking tighten oh, your shit up? You fucking therapist. You you therapist. Yeah, Therapisting the fuck out of your ass. Quit fucking milking this broad. I'm in, in, in. You know the worst part is some other dude will probably come in there and fucking do the same shit. But you, you, you just don't want to be the one doing it. it. Takes a toll. People think people think shit is free. You know what I mean? Like run a game on a broad, man. That shit takes a lot of fucking time and energy and all of that shit. Like, just get a better job. Fucking. <laughs> Drive a drive a car that's not as nice, you know. Like sometimes, sometimes that shit ain't worth it. Look at him; he's got all those feelings all tied up with the kids and her and all that shit. Not always worth it. You think you're getting over, but you're really not. Who else we got? I've got uh, Sarah in Silver Lake. Hey, Sarah in Silver Lake. Hi, Jude. So I'm calling because I want to know whether I should or should not circumcise my son. I'm. F- uh, why? Why do you want to? Well, I'm Jewish, so it's part of our oh, culture. Yeah. Yeah. But um, you know, and I always thought I would, you know, like yeah, you know, if I have a son, I'll circumcise him. But now I'm like, I'm researching it, and there's like a whole movement, like, and I know you're against it, like men are just like, you know, saying that they rather have not gone circumcised, and now I'm like in this weird predicament. I don't know what to do. 
Yeah, I don't know. Are you like Jewish Jewish? Or are you like, or you just kind of show up on like yeah, Sabbath yeah, like, dinners every now, every now and again and shit like that? Exactly. Yeah, that kind of Jewish. Yeah. All right. So you like fucking. All right. So you're not like full on Jewish. Um, <clears throat> I would vote no. I think it's genital mutilation, but. Uh, you know, that's just me. A lot of women out there, they're so, they've been so trained to like circumcised dicks that they get bummed out when they see an uncircumcised one, but they'll get used right. to it. You know what I mean? They, you'll get used to that shit. That's natural. It's yeah, crazy. I mean, people are, people want to be all natural and then they go start fucking freestyling on a kid's dick. They're like, whoa, that's not natural. Yeah. Kind of doesn't feel right. Yeah. Like it's not his decision. That yeah, I wish I, I um, we were going through baby pictures and I saw me after I got circumcised and I was really bummed out. <laughs> I, had, I had this really hurt hurt look on my face, and there was a reason for it back in the day, I guess. You know, like I guess it was it was harder to keep clean, but mm -hmm. now nowadays where everybody has running water, I think it's I, I yeah, think, that's, uh, that's true too. I think yeah, that too. Like oh, but it gets dirty. But I mean, it's like yeah, we live in the United States. Yeah, we're not no like this isn't you know, you know, the Jews. You're not in, in fucking Egypt somewhere. You know what I mean? Like sand mm -hmm. getting all up in your dick. You know, but they do. There, the smegma is real. So you got to watch out. You know, you got to keep. You got to stay on that shit. The smegma mm -hmm. is real. Right. Okay. Well, here's another thing that's kind of weird. So my husband is actually not circumcised, all and right. he said like. He kind of wants to do it because he said growing up, he kind of was like, you know, oh, everybody was circumcised and he felt like weird about it. And he always had to like pull the skin back and stuff. And another thing is I have an uncle who is not wasn't circumcised either. And now in his late 40s wants to do it because he said it's painful during sex. Well, there you go. Um, but all of those things were like these were adults making decisions for themselves on their own body. Mm, true. So, if you can, you can always, you, you know, you, he can cut it off whenever he wants. He can always circumcise yeah, so himself. Much more invasive when he's older. Hmm. I'm sure it wasn't that fucking great for me. I just was too fucking young to really verbalize this shit. Hmm. Oh man! All right. Yeah. Have you had the kid yet or not? Nah? No, so I'm due next month, November. Right, well, congratulations. Thank you. Got you. That, you got the nut these bitches for? Drop that shit. <laughs> Drop that shit, John. Drop that. I don't even know if he's listening. Yeah, I'm All here. Right, fuck it. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Nut. Nut in. She gonna keep the dick. Even though she's Jewish. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, um, I don't know. Thanks, dude. <laughs> is your family pushing on you one way or another, or, or is this like no? A I mean, I battle? think they're kind. Of, yeah, they're kind of like, like what? You're not gonna, you know? It's weird that I'm not gonna do it, but I think they respect the fact that it's my child and my decision. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, the one thing though about being circumcised is you don't miss what you never had. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I don't know if would would have been mm -hmm. better or worse. So like I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. So right. all I know is what I got. Exactly. That's the that's the other point. That's the other side. But yeah. your kid might think he's weird because he, like, he'll see your dad, he'll see his dad's dick not being circumcised and his dick being circumcised, and I'm, that might confuse him too. So that's something to think yeah. about. Yeah. So right. boom. How do you like banging dudes with circumcised versus non circumcised? It doesn't matter. That shit does not matter. Well, there you go. Right. Yeah. From the lady's point of view. From one lady's <laughs> point of view. Doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Does not matter. All right. Let's keep that shit going. It is. What would you do? Okay, so got... far, quit living off your girl and let him keep his part of his dick. Okay. Who's next? Tony in Colorado. Tony. Man, what's up, Judy? Shit. You got it. Hey, man. My problem is my sis got locked up for embezzling all kinds of fucking money, bro. Mm. For how long? She did it for like two years, and over those two years, she, she stole over 300K. Damn, son. 
So how, how, uh, so what's the problem? So my problem is, I mean, I can get her out of jail, but I don't know if I trust her to, to get to her out of run? jail. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you, you yeah. Think she, she, you think she might be a flight risk? She might be. She says she's not, but she lies a lot. What's her, uh, <laughs> clearly, what's her bail? Uh, what she stole, 300K. Oh, so it's 30,000 you got to put down? Yeah, I got to put down 30K and then fucking collateral. Oh, word? Yeah, uh, I, have down, I have to put up my house. No. No. Nah. Well, that, well, well, that's a lot. Look, man. She, uh, I wouldn't do it. She fucked. Yeah, she fucked up, right? I'm not gonna put my fucking. You got a wife and kids or something? Like you got a house, right? So I'm guessing that you yeah. got a family, right? And I just bought it. Yeah, dog. Like, nah, bro. <laughs> I love you, but good luck. Yeah, I word, Judy. Let's see. Yeah, what and, and I it, think with, with that shit, with, with that white collar crime shit, I don't think they. You know, this is her first time embezzling. Yeah, man. But she also got like a shitload of identity theft. Yeah, your sister ain't shit, bro. Like, yeah, like, I I mean, there's a lot of people. She, she's scamming the system, but, like, um, I don't know. If someone went to jail for, like, f fraudulent shit, and then they need money to get out of jail from you, and they want you to put your house on the line for it, I would be real fucking very, very careful with that shit. Cause, uh, and that's what I'm saying. I told her, I was like, where's the stash at? You're stealing all this money. Where's the stash at so I can get your ass out of jail? And she's like, I don't have one. I was like, what the fuck? Was she spend it all? What's that? She spent it all? Yeah, man. She ain't got no stash, no nothing, bro. You know, mm. she was about to hit the fan sooner or later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't even know how long people do for embezzlement. What, like a couple years, maybe? Yeah, I mean, she's looking at probably like 36 right now. She'll get out earlier than that, though. Um, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't risk. I wouldn't risk my whole fucking house. I love like I love my sister, but if she was like a pathological liar and was constantly doing shit like this, there's no way I'm putting my fucking family's well being on the line for that shit. Yeah, man, and I told like, her that shit, and she gets mad at me. Fuck her. You come first. You and your wife, then the kids. Than the other family members. Yeah, and I so. love her, man. She was like spending all this money on all of us and shit, and then all of a sudden I get a call. She's in jail. I wonder where she got the money from. Yeah, who knew? Yeah, uh, yeah, who who knew? Uh, that's that's rough. I mean, uh, maybe other people would. John, would you would you uh, would you put up would you put up your house for your? Whew. Embezzling uh, sister? I that seems very unlikely. Yeah, I'm kind of cold hearted when it comes <laughs> to shit like that, man. <laughs> I, I gotta look out for me first. Like I love you, but like I gotta look out for me first, first and foremost. Exactly, man. And like that ten percent you give to the Bills bondsman, you never get that back, bro. Nah, 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 nah. When's the trial? She ain't. She ain't got no trial. She already fessed. She fessed up to it all, bro. Oh. Oh, so she just, she, to get out of jail, she could just give the money back? That was it? She wants to get out of jail so she can get her shit together. Like, right now, I'm throwing all her shit from her house, and she wants me to use that towards her bail money. And I'm all like, yeah, that shit can only go so far. I mean, like, I don't got $20,000, and I'm not going to get that shit in garage sales, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure she, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure she went on some nice vacations, got a bunch of bags and shit, but, uh, yeah. eBay them, yeah, man, eBay, eBay them, uh, Louboutins. <laughs> See what you can get for them. Man, uh, Louboutins, man, that's like some Michael Kors shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> she was embezzling to buy Michael Kors purses. Oh, fuck, you're fuck. Uh, whatever. She got what she, she got what was coming for to her. That, that. 
I mean, I love my sister, bro. I wish her everything but the best, man. But fuck. Nah, I'm right. I'm right there with you. I, I, I love I, family. Family first, but your family first. Exactly, man. I got two little girls and a wife, bro. So I mean, yeah. What that look like if she split and then and then they come take your house? Your yeah, wife and kids gonna gotta... be looking at you like you're a fucking asshole, and you will be. Oh, I know, man. So protect your own shit. And, and uh, moving forward, don't be taking all them gifts from fucking people. That way, you won't feel like you owe them shit. All right, give me one more, and then we'll play a song. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. It is what would you do? We've got B Wade in Athens, Tennessee. B Wade, Hi, Athens. Jasmine. Whoa, whoa. What's hey. up, dude? B Wade, what up? Small town. Small town. So what's your problem? So, so here's the deal. Well, I fucked a boss about two, three years ago, right after we had our son. Damn. I ain't got over it yet. Yeah, I know. Slut. I ain't got over it yet. So we were having issues. Kind of told her, hey, you need to move out, move in with your dad, because I can't come home without you being a bitch. So you got to go for a little bit. Let us work on ourselves. So she went. She acted weird now. Mess my kid. Kind of miss her. But, you know, it's been two months now. So I, I'm I'm assuming she's doing her thing, kind of doing well, was doing my thing. That's that's the short and long of it. All right, so you got a kid with her, and she fucked the boss, her boss, right after the baby? Yeah, she, shortly did, after. Did shortly she stay working the there? She's still working there. Is, like, the pay just phenomenal or some shit, or? No, nah, it pays like shit. But she claims she loves her job. Well, look, man. Nah. Does she want to make it work or no? She claims she does, or claims she did, but now after I kicked her out, I don't know if she still feels the same. We'll talk to her. I think the main, the first thing, she's, she's got to get a new job. Agreed. Like, where does she work at? What kind of job is it? She works at a dental lab, so she's oh, like 13, she 14 fucked the bucks dentist? an hour. So, no, shit, I wish I fucked the dentist. No. She, she fucked like, the dentist? She's she like 14. She like 14 bucks an hour. She fucked her boss. He owns a dental lab. It's not a dental office. It's a dental lab. They make like fake teeth and stuff. She fucked a dude that make fake, made fake teeth? A denture guy? She makes the fake teeth. Mm. He's the boss. He just tells her how to make She's the fake teeth maker. and puts dick right. in it. Right. And, and then, you know, puts <laughs> his dick around her, or uh, in between her teeth, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> All right, look. Uh, she yeah. needs, here's the deal. You uh, for for this to work with you and the kid, um, and intact families are very important. You need to forgive her, but she also needs to leave that job so that you're not fucking emotionally triggered every time she goes to fucking right. work. And that was part of the agreement. But she was like, "I'm getting the raise. I love my job." I'm like, "God damn." We go. Well, it's uh, did you say it's either the, the job or us? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, no, the, did you that directly that. say that shit? I didn't directly say it. I said, but you need to find a new damn job or we're not going to work. That's pretty straightforward. Look, I would I would broach it one more time. Be like, look, I would like to make this work. Um, I don't want you to cheat. Try to figure out why she did cheat. See if you can get that out of her. And then be like, because maybe there's some shit you need to adjust to. You know what I mean? Like, maybe she's feeling Yeah, I mean, like, I'm kind of a dick, you know? Or, yeah. Well, stop I mean, being no, a dick. I know, she's me, but she knew that, she knew no, that coming in. I'm no, not changing. You can, I'm not you changing, can, you know. You can adjust your behavior from being, not being yeah. a dick. You know what I mean? Like, if you know you're a yeah. dick, like, if you're, if you if you can realize you're a dick, like... You can stop being a, dick, be a dick because being a dick gets her to go <laughs> fuck other dudes. So Lying. you want to be a dick and have her fuck other guys because she's like low key mad at you. Right. Showed her. So, so I went, I went, I went and fucked around after I kicked her out too. Well, sure. So, of course. You know, two rights don't make a wrong, but it felt nice. Yeah, but 
the but the thing is, is man you got to try to salvage this family thing you know what i mean so absolutely absolutely look um adjust your behavior she needs to get another fucking another job and um really talk talk and think if it's worth giving it a try and if it is you got to fucking forgive her sooner or later 100. I uh, agree. I mean, she, she's hot, you know. She's a good-looking lady. Who the fuck cares how she looks? It's like you got a fucking yeah, kid I mean, with her. I mean, I miss her, though. I mean, yeah, she's a bitch, but I miss her. And she needs to quit being a bitch, and I need to quit being a dick. It sounds like you two deserve each other. Yeah, exactly. We do. Fucking awful. We do. We've been, we've been together for like six years, you know, and shit yeah. started going sour just a little before that happened. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, just both of y'all need to adjust y'all behavior. I don't know how she's acting besides fucking her boss for whatever reasons. You think it's just because you were mean to her? Ah, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's that or, or money or what. I mean, I make good money, too, but... She ain't you know. fucking nobody for the dough. It's usually like some attention right. or feel wanted or to fucking right. have right. revenge. And that's probably 100% what it was is the attention well, because I wasn't really giving it to her. Well, that's your fucking job, dude. It's your wife. Put yeah, I know, man. It. I know. Like, put energy but, you into know, your fucking you wife, You know what the vows say. All right. Look, she wasn't right for doing that shit, but it's, it sounds like you, you, uh, you haven't been the best husband, so talk to her about that. Own it. And tell her to get a new job, and then y'all can fucking move forward. If not, then try to figure out a good way to break up. All right? Yes, sir. All right, bro. Jesus fucking Christ. Sounds a real party over there. All right, let's play a song. So what would you do? I'm over here fucking saving the world. 888-742-3345. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. Hey. hey there. How you doing out there? It's so what would you do? It's so where uh, you call up with your problems and I I talk to you. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345 is the number to dial. Who we got there? Billy Joe in New Hampshire. Billy. Hey, dude. Um, what's up, dog? What's What's up, man? Did you call um, before? Good. Um, yeah, I just one thing I want to say is happy birthday, late birthday to John. Thank you. There you go, John. Happy yep. late birthday. Okay. Feeling that. All right. And, and, well, I have a problem, which my mother, I've been dealing with her for, for um, like, every day she's been complaining. I can't do this. I can't do that. I, like, I have, like, I don't know if you know, but uh, my fiance just called the other day. The one, but what, the one I've been moving in Nashua. Beyonce called so, you. Yep, she's the one I t- you call the one she called you. So um, the feel good Friday. She's oh, the one who called you. Okay. All right. Okay. Yep, and so, so, so I've been I've been dealing with this. I I can't have any um can't have access to my money. I from the Social Security. I can't mm. do any of this. And I, you know, I have like a social security every month I get. I don't have any access for that. So I don't know what to do. So you want a bit of freedom. You want a bit of freedom yeah. in, in your mom's, your mom's stopping you from doing that stuff? Yes. How old are you? I'm 25. You're 25? Um, yes. Is there anything going on with your head? Or are you, are you, uh. No, nothing's going on. I, I'm trying to find a job, and I just recently quit my other job because my boss has been, been just totally dicks to me, so I fucking quit. What were you doing? Um, They were freaking stressing me out. They are freaking yelling at me and saying that I have to do this and do that, and it's the same thing I'm doing at home. So you're you're getting it all over the place, huh? What, yeah. what would you do? What do you want to do with your money anyway? Just out of curiosity. I mean, it's your money. How are you getting Social Security at twenty five? Like, are you getting? Um, I'm. Just, I want to be able to pay rent and like move out and actually live with my fiance. But 
I have oh. no access. Can't do that. I first I don't drive. Oh. Does your mom have like uh, power of attorney over you or some shit? So, yes, yeah. like she oh. has control of everything, and I can I I don't like it, and I keep asking her for my money, and she's not giving it to me, and she's like saying like stuff like oh it's my I I she has pain for the internet and all that, and I don't I think it's bullshit. You think she's taking your money? Yes. Mm. <sighs> Sounds to me like you got to get a lawyer. You got to find a lawyer that would that's gonna um, help you out right. with this shit. I don't I don't exactly know how they, these things go. If she already has power of attorney over you, but if you can prove that she's abusing it, perhaps you can emancipate yourself. I'm not sure, but. <clears throat> I'm going to be real with you, like, I'm a bit concerned because Beyonce did not call me ever. Right, so. she calls, like, here and there and asks me how I'm doing. I say I'm pissed off, and, and I'm, okay. like, complaining to her, and she wants me to see what I can do. Or um, She's yeah. trying to give me something, and I keep doing what I'm supposed to do when she's telling me, um, but she's not listening to me, my mother, and she's, like, saying I have control of this, I have control of that, Dude. and... But I have no, and if I have to move, I have no place to go. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know if you. To be real with you, I don't. Uh, do you have any other loved ones besides your mom that could help you out with this shit? No, my whole family is all against me, and my mo my whole family is always on my mother's side, always. Hmm. Um. All right. Well, see if you can figure out how to get an attorney if you can figure out how to get an attorney then maybe you deserve the money if you don't if you can't figure out how to do that then maybe it's best that your mom is running shit for you and you're gonna have to come to terms with that now it's fucked up if she's taking advantage of you but like i don't think you've been talking to beyonce bro and i know for sure beyonce ain't called here because i've never spoken to be i never met her in my entire fucking life so these are some things that you're going to have to come to terms with. But I do want you to, I do, I do want you to find some happiness in your life and contentment. And um, perhaps you can spend more time with your fiance. How long you been with her for? Um, about like about two or three years. How'd you meet her? Um, I met her at work, you know, she, I mean, and I mean, we've been together. I mean, we had our fights here and there, but I mean, we're doing way better now and okay. she's helping me out. Does with, she uh, know? Like Does she know that you got her fiancés? Her? Yeah, she knows this and she's oh. been like trying to fight for me too. And then uh, she's like, she wish she can do much more, but she's like, uh, she doesn't know what else to do. She wants to help me, but there's no way she can help me. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like you're in a bit of a pickle there, champ. Um like what I said like what I said is like see if you can find a uh, an attorney that I don't even know what kind of attorney you need to get. So you gotta figure out what kind of attorney you need to get and see if you can get one. And if you can then you might have a leg to stand on. If you can't even figure that shit out, then you, my, my friend, have to figure out how to deal in the reality that you live in right now where your mom has control over shit. Okay? All right. All right, so All right. hop on the internet and start. She, she bought the internet. Hop on that bitch and start looking. Try to talk to somebody to help you through this shit, I believe. All right, take care, man. Okay, let's go on to uh, Kevin in Houston. Whoa. Yeah. Yo. I know. It's it's got a, hey. it's got some issues. Uh Kevin, what's up? Hey, what's up, dude? Shit, man, it's him. Oh man, I, I just got a situation, man. I like I've been helping my uh, neighbor out, man. She's a single mom. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm single myself. And uh you know, I think she's kinda taking my kindness for weakness uh yeah. in, in this situation, you know. Okay. Like, what do you mean? Give me an example. Well, uh, we, you know, at first, man, uh, you know, like she was my neighbor and stuff for, for a little while, and then uh, I noticed 
like her, her yard, beautiful homes, man. Yard was getting out of hand, so one day I saw her and I offered my services to her, and she was like, okay, uh, I normally pay, you know, like 800 bucks what we did, but old man left. I don't know if she put, I don't know her business like that. Hmm. So anyway, I took care of that. I said, okay, you don't have to, you don't have to pay me nothing on that. Now, that was about eight months ago. Since then, about every other week or so, she asked me, to, can I help her do this? I helped her move furniture. You know, we're down in this hurricane zone, so we had this big hurricane about three weeks. Hello? Uh, Little things go by. You know, I'm not hurting financially, but she had some, uh, uh, the back of her home pretty much got destroyed, the exterior. So I told her I would take care of it. But she would have to take care of me on the material. Right. So I squared away everything I spent. Well, if I charged it for labor, it would have been over 3000 But the material alone was like 1500 Okay, man? It, what so, she give you? Well, that's what I'm getting at. Nothing, well, I'm, man. That's, that's why I'm that's speeding you up. At least a couple of weeks ago, man. All right, how much? And uh, close to $2,000. She gave you $2,000? No, no, she didn't give me nothing. That's what I spent on the material. All right, look, man, I don't know if you can get that money back, but you need to stop helping her. She's taking full advantage of you. She's treating you like a simp. What I'm saying, man, because uh, a couple of days ago, she texted me and asked me if I could help her. Uh, something about a transmission, something on a car, man. Tell her you and can't I'm do shit. Tell her you can't do shit till you get that $2,000. Well, I texted. I just texted her back and told her, "Hey, look, you got to call Tyrone on this one." You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, Tyrone, right? So yeah, I know, bro. I she texts me. She texts me back with a unsmiley face, and that's my neighbor. You know what I'm saying? So now I see her passing by. She ain't speaking. I'm like, "Whoa, I don't want to be on her, bad dog. terms." No, 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 look. I understand you don't want to be on bad terms, but like you don't want the terms to be you do whatever the fuck she says, and then if if you if you don't, then she's gonna be mad at you, and whatever the fuck she needs is basically you to fucking step in and be the husband that she lost, and she don't appreciate shit because if she did, she'd fucking pay pay you back for things, and she's not. So fuck her. Dinner, anything. Say hey, I cook. You a single man? Hey. You want you want dinner or something? Nothing, man. Didn't even no, mention no, anything. No, no, no. She just takes, oh, takes, oh, that takes. that was a beautiful job, bro. Are you doing now? Now you just now you just complaining, bro. Now you just complaining, man. All right, fuck her, dog. She ain't shit. She showed you she ain't shit repeatedly. She's got she, her character is awful. She's got bad character. She's not a good person. She's taking advantage of you. And if you continue on with that, it's your own fault. Quit being a simp, bro. Like, fuck that broad. And I don't think you can get that $2,000, and you're just going to have a neighbor that don't, that don't like you. And she's probably going to lower your fucking property value because she doesn't cut her lawn, and that's going to suck. So, there you go. That's the long and the short of it. Y'all two ain't friends no more. She ain't no friend. Fuck her, man. The dude did five thousand dollars worth of work for her ass. All he needed was a, was the materials, and she wouldn't even do that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. Got real freaky out of Brooklyn. Real freaky. Yo, what's up, my dude? How you? Man, I'm good. What about you? Hey, man, I'm glad to see you back on the air, man. Appreciate you, man. Um, just want to get some advice from you on on a few things. You know what I mean? So All I work right. in a, a mental I work in a mental hospital. You know what I mean? So, you know, most of the um, people I work with, we pretty tight knit. Mm -hmm. But I got this old lady going around talking about I got some chick pregnant, you know what I mean? Because I'm a, I'm a hot boy, you know what I mean? I'm very flirtatious with people, you know what I mean? It's, it's only a little flirtation, but um, we buy lunches for each other, you know what I mean? I might let the shorty drive my car to go to somewhere if she ain't got a whip with her. But she, this chick at the job, she went around talking about I got shorty pregnant. I'm, I'm having sex with her in locations I ain't never did, you know what I mean? And she's a female older lady, which I got respect for, but I don't feel like a man should step to no old lady, you know what I mean? Especially when it's not even factual, but... 
I got people in my ear saying, you know, you need to step through this, man, and nip this in the bud. So I'm just kind of curious what, what a real dude like yourself would do with something like that. You know what I mean? Because um, well, here's I'm a deal. respectable dude and all, but, you know what I mean, my wife might take that shit personal. She can't nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? This is, here's, here's the thing. You are, this is, this is work and not streets. So you have, Back. there's a whole, there's a whole different, there's, there's street rules and there's work rules. And work Correct. rules is tell, 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 tell. I learned that the hard way. Whoever tells first wins. Tell, As tell, you, tell. Yep. So I would go to HR and be in and say that she is saying fucking she's um she's being liable. Is it liable? What, what is it, John? When they fucking say lies on, is it liable or the other one? Uh, I can look it up. I think it's liable, probably. Yeah, she, uh, yeah, she, she, yeah, she's she's saying she's saying bad things on your name. Like that's not fucking cool. Like not cool at no, all. That's not cool at all. You know what I mean? Like but, I said, I ain't never had no animosity with her. I know, but um, like she, clearly she got a problem with your ass. Um, and, and I would also temper the way you behave at work for right now, so that they don't have yeah. any am ammunition. So you need to chill not the fuck far. out, and you need yeah. to fucking um, tell, get it on document with HR. And make sure there's an email trail and all that shit that you're being harassed. Now, would you go and tell your wifey this shit just to give her a heads up? Um, does you does your wife know that you're letting chicks borrow the car and all that shit? I mean, not necessarily, but you know, nah, I'm a, right. uh, you know, I'm, I'm a loving individual. You know, what I mean, if you want me and shit, I'll feed you. You know, what I mean, like yeah, I feel you, but like here's here, here, here's the deal like i would probably stop like since you're married stop letting chicks borrow your car and stop like fucking doing boyfriendy things for them that's for your wife that's for your wife yeah you're right joe i, so, can, you know I, I mean? can respect that man yeah like, no yeah, doubt joe. I like if you can't that. if you can't tell her that then then that's a, that's your answer right there you know what i mean like right so stop doing that shit um for yourself for your own good and get a fucking paper trail that this woman is fucking, fucking slander rat. slandering your name <clears throat> and Without harassing you yeah. and like look um I, I, i've said it over and over again like i do not go don't even fucking talk to her about it go fucking talk uh, go above her and talk to hr and say that she's creating a hostile work environment for you Right, Drew. I appreciate you, you my brother. Man. That's a nice trigger it. word. That's a good trigger word. And then write an email following up as per our conversation and write those trigger words in there just so that you got a paper trail. All right. Be safe, man, and continue success. You heard? Thanks, bro. And John, happy yeah. birthday, man. Hey, thank you, man. There you go. All right. Real freaky checking in. And Jay in Houston. Jay, what up, though? Yo, hey, what's good, Drew? Man, you got it. What's your problem? Shit, man. Uh, I took your advice and, and previous listeners and shit, and I finally got my girl of five years to have a threesome with me about a month ago. What was my advice? Just on, oh, how to, you know, talk to her and stuff like that. Not finesse her, but, you know, talk to her to, to work her up to it. Nice. That was fucking... I yeah, mean, but... I don't remember that. We but. did it. It was about a month ago. It's just, I mean, I'm listening to you for a while and shit like that, but I bet. anyways, we had about a month ago shit. Uh, I was cool. Then, but it seems like every time after that and shit, like when it's just me and her fucking, like we'd be laying down, she would you know, start to tug me off and shit, but she'd bring up the girl and she started doing that more and more and more. And I don't mind, you know, because it, it helped me get off and it helped her get off too. Cool. But. It's like afterwards, then she'll kind of be like, oh, well, you know, I'm worried about you, you know, trying to fuck her, like, you know, behind her back and shit like that. And it's like, I wouldn't, you know, why would I shoot myself in the foot, risk having more threesomes in the future just to fuck, you know, her one time mm -hmm. or some shit, you know? So I'm trying to, like, how do I ease her mind and shit, you know, and yeah. let her know, like, hey, you know, I ain't about to go behind her back and do that shit. And, I think you need to sit her down and be like, look, you know, it's like all that talk is hot, but like if it's make, uh, we did the threesome, it was cool, but I'm loyal to you. And I think that we should even, I, I think you should even stop having that talk. Cause like if you're busting quicker, it's going to make her, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, you know, it's going to, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, while I was going on, I was trying to, 
she'd be like looking at me and shit. And I, I, I had to tone it down a little bit because I could tell she was giving me the eye, kind of like, you know, being like, oh, don't get this bitch better dick than you give me type shit. So, yeah. That's what I was like, yeah. Sounds yeah, like I mean, we, we so, have a. Did she like the uh, facial? But yeah, she she was into it. She was kind of like you know on the gay side and shit back in high school, and uh, the girl she, she hit up was a girl she used to mess around with back in high school. So mm. you know, she's in the girl. So that's why I felt like you know it's kind of easier to, to get her to do it. Just had to, to work her up to it. Like I said, the main thing is is her problem is I think is me going behind her back and doing it, which I ain't about to do that shit because I'd rather you know continue having threesomes with her than you know just leaving her and going with some other bitch, you know. Well, I think that's exactly what you need to talk to her about. But don't talk to her about it like after she jerked you off or some shit. Talk to her about that like while y'all are chilling after dinner or something. Gotcha. Like, hey, man, I've been wanting to talk to you about this. I feel like after the threesome, you've gotten a bit suspicious of me. And uh, I just want to let you know where I stand and kind of tell her. Tell her what you told me. Gotcha, gotcha. Like you're not willing to risk that that you love her and you're not willing to risk that shit over over some fucking pussy. It's not worth it. It's dumb. Yeah, I hear you. Shit. Well, I mean, hopefully it go good because she actually caught it up. She's supposed to come on, come through tonight. So. <laughs> then you got another friend she used to mess around with in high school that's uh, supposed to come over Friday. So I'm. Why don't I'm, you? I'm, I got that motherfucking cake and I'm in there too. I guess the power play would be like, why don't you call this threesome off until you and I fucking get our shit right? I don't want you fucking tripping afterwards. And that well, I told her because the girl wanted to come over last night, and I was like, oh, like it was late and shit. And I was like, all right, well, fuck it. You know, she, I, I can tell she asked me, kind of debate me to see if I was going to really be down and shit, wanting to come over. I was like, hey, it's late. Hey, if you want to want her to come over, tell her come over. If you don't, you don't. I kind of put the ball in her court, you know. Just yeah, but I think I think you need to be happen. like I think you need to be like, look, man, we need to chill out on these threesomes until you get fucking until you until until you're trusting that I'm not gonna fucking leave you. Gotcha. Okay. You know what I mean? Like I would kick that shit yeah. down. Like you, you you dig what I'm saying? That they're, they're there. But yeah, yeah. Your, your main thing is is to get her head right. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. So I'd be like, look, man, I've been doing some thinking. Why don't you cancel tonight? You've been having problems with with this shit, thinking that I'm gonna go go behind your back. I'm not gonna. So why don't we just like, why don't we just tighten it up and go from there? She might gotcha. insist, and if she insists, and I don't, I don't know what I don't you know go along with it. But uh, you know, I would I would really that really shows that you are willing to put your relationship ahead of everything, as you should. Got you, got you. There you go. That makes sense. Threesomes are fucking cool, but man, they're complicated, y'all. Like they're cool, but you just add some more shit into an already complicated situation, and it's a, uh, it's tough. But he got to fuck her bisexual girls. So that, you know, that's the upside. We good or anybody else? Uh, could we do one more. This yeah, sure. Why not? Curious. Why G, not? G in Miami. G. Yo, what up, Drew? You got it. What's the problem? Hey, man. So uh, this is the deal. I'm in like a a tough situation. So this is girl that I've been dating for like a good almost a year, mm. and um, I'm really feeling her and stuff like that. And I think she could possibly be the one. But the only thing is, um, I'm in a unique, well, a different situation. I'm into like cuckolding, so I got like a group of guys that you know what I'm saying I'm into that. So okay. you know, so I like watching guys like do my girl or whatever, but. I'm trying to come around, and she's not really, like, budging on that. So it's one of those situations that's like, man, I really like this girl, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying, this is something that I like to do. It's like I get a rush, I get a high off of it, but she's not really into it. So I'm like, I'm just stuck. What what, what would you do? Um, what, what, what is it about cuckolding that you like? Um, <laughs> it's sort of like a... I'm actually there, and I'm actually, like, just looking at it. So, I don't know, man. It's just one of the things that I'm, like, kind of into. You know, All I first right. start out, like, watching videos, and then, you know, have yeah, more boys just, or some people I know. Do you, like, are you, you got gay tendencies, or you just, like, oh, watch? Oh, no, hell no. <laughs> hell no. No, no. I like, I like females. Okay. But, um, I'm just curious, you know, bro. Just time, trying just to figure shit out. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, from from time to time, you know what I'm saying, it's just like, you know, just trying something different, spicing it up. That's just something that I'm into. But uh, And you've done this like before? Other girls that I date, yeah, yeah. Like, so other other females that I've dated and this stuff, obviously they didn't last too long. You know, I could kind of, like, persuade them, and they were, you know, somewhat into it. Um, uh-huh. And they'd, you know, open to try it. But this chick, she's just like, no, nah, I'm not I'm not really into it. Um, I'm feeling like if I can persuade her a little bit more, she may be into it. But, you know, right now it's kind of like, kind of no. So, they like, oh, there's got to be a website for, like, fucking, like, a. I don't know, like a cuckold fucking dating website, isn't there? Like, cuck date app or uh, something? Yeah, but I'm not really into that part. You know, I like, you know, well, meeting people naturally and stuff like I that. I hear you, but like, man, well, that's a tough sell. Like, hey, you're pretty hot. How do you feel about uh, getting railed by this guy over here that you never met before <laughs> while I jerk off in the corner? <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Like, nah, Jesus nah. fucking Christ. But, How do you bring that yeah, up? All, like, like, what do you out. say to her? Well, it, well, well, I'll just talk about, like, you know, saying we'll watch porn and stuff like that. Then I'll be like, oh, well, what would you think about trying that out? You know, sometimes like, like, almost like how child myself. molesters groom the fucking children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. You got like popsicles and comic books. And then you're like, hey, play this video game. Hey, you want to see something cool? Check out this magazine. Oh, then, oh, it's Jim. He's at the door. Hey, imagine that. Fuck. Look, you're in the corner God. jerking off while he plows you. Um, maybe this girl ain't for you. Uh, I would, you, you know, you can you can give it the old college try. And uh, but like, if a chick's not into it, she's not into it. And this seems like a big part of your sexuality. So perhaps you you're gonna have to find someone that's into into the whole uh cuckolding type thing i don't know what yeah. women are called but um c- cuckdresses c- cuckishes i don't know oh it looks like a hot oh, wife man. hot wife or, just, right. they're called hot wife or a cut queen couple cut cake cut queen it's the whole world out here check this yeah out. man there's yeah there's, <laughs> yeah yeah, or you can even but, like um, go to swinging clubs. <clears throat> yeah, but it's so hard to try try to find somebody that's like you know what I'm saying so true and you know somebody that you really hit it off with that that you have potential with. So that's just the only dilemma I'm at. You know, do I? You know, can you go without like? And, can you just shut that part off of your life and just fucking just go without it? And if this one is really the one, or um, is is cuckolding See, such a part of you that she'd have to be into it I for think, her to be really the one? I think, like, in time, I could probably, like, you know what I'm saying, let it go, especially if it's something, like, serious or whatnot, you know, but it's just one of the things that I'm really like and I'm, like, really into, and it's like, you know, what do I do? But I think I could probably, like, you know, cut it off or whatever. Just out of curiosity, you says you've done this already. Like, <clears throat> excuse me. Like, what do you do once he gets done fucking? Do, does he, like, just get dressed and leave? Or do you guys, like, sit around and have a drink? Or what, what's what's the post shit like? Um, he'll, he'll, he'll just leave. Okay. He'll be like, all right, thanks. And I'm out. Fuck. Do you got, like, guys that you have on roster? Or do you find, or do you find them? Nah, it's like uh, some, of, some of my homeboys... You know, okay. or, you know, wow. associates or whatever. So it's people that I know. So it's not just some total stranger, you know what I mean? Have you ever done the, have you ever done it for a homeboy where you went and smashed his girl? Or? Uh, no, nah, they never, they never no. uh, asked me. They never asked <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds to me like you really don't give a fuck that you're, you're more on the other side. All right, then. damn, it's crazy. I, the, I think you're like one of the open f- my- hey what a, hey whatever floats your boat um yeah it's shit dude like I'd, I'd try a little bit but like if you're that much into it and she's not then that's not gonna work bro that's not gonna work yeah yeah I know tough yeah it's tough it's a tough one 
it's, it's weird when you got a weird kink that not everyone's into. Yeah, man, that's just, like, just uh... Some guys just want to butt fuck their girl on fucking Christmas. You, you're uh, you're over here trying to fuck, <laughs> trying to cuck. <laughs> So, so, so right, it's a little, little different, yeah, bro. Yeah, you can all you can all maybe like do the threesome, but then just fucking uh act like you pulled your hamstring or some shit, and then go over to the side and just be like, I'll just be over here watching, jerking off, finesse yeah. a cuck out of right that up. shit. <laughs> I don't know what to tell but, you, bro. Um, it's like getting a front row seat, you know what I'm saying, like live in person. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, um, I hope uh, if it doesn't work out with her, I hope you find a lady that's willing to cuckold your ass because you deserve it, sir. You deserve a good cucking. Sure enough, there's See? a website, datacuckold.com. What is it called? Datacuckold.com. Datacuckold.com. So worse look- things worse. He's looking for a bull. That's the that's the line. No, no, no. He's looking for a chick that's willing to. Oh, cuck. excuse me. Okay, that, that's right. That's, that's right. willing to okay. cuck his ass. And like he bull. likes a girl a lot, but right. she's just she doesn't want to fuck another dude in front of him, which is understandable. It's a special. That's a special kind of relationship. Um. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we need to talk to anybody else. That was, <laughs> that was it. That was all. That's all she wrote. Uh, yeah. What would you do? Coming up next. It's a surprise. All right. Let's go. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. You, you. All right, y'all. That was What Would You Do? I want to thank everybody for calling up. Uh, and you're welcome for me solving all of your problems. I'm sure you're going to do better now that you've spoke to Jude. On what would you do? That's once a week. What we got coming up next? Uh, do old ladies still like having sex? We'll tell you. Does it matter? Are you going to be banging on your old ladies anytime soon? Probably not, but hey. We like talking about fucking here on Jade 45. Fucking and sucking. And the TikTok kids are. Oh, yeah, no the, good. The new TikTok trend. Oh, the new TikTok trend. John told me about it, but uh, I guess we got audio of it. It's fucking. Uh, ugh. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it's fucked up. To me, it is at least. Maybe there's some of you regular other people out there were like, "Oh, it's regular," but they got some new TikTok craze that I don't. I'm not a hundred percent on board with. In fact, I'm off board with this shit. Uh, that and more coming up next. Oh, yo, also All Out Show. Uh, follow us on Twitter at All Out Show, on Instagram at All Out Show, and you can follow my um, IG at One More Jude, or you can go to the website One More Jude dot com. Last but not least, if you want a direct line to me, 213-209, I forgot the fucking rest of the number, 3747, I think that's what it is, that's my community, text uh, text hello if you want everything, text pill mix if you just want mixes, an Once occasional blast. So but I can I confirm I'm, it. It's 213-205-3747. Yeah, I got that shit. I got that shit. Um, yeah. What John said, 205-3747. That way you have direct access to Judy. Direct access. Talk to me anytime. Sometimes I read them. Other times I don't. But, uh, yeah. All right. Enough of this. Let's play some music. Come back with the news from the chin. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. And now, it's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. Turns out it is a myth that women don't want sex as they age, according to this new study. Who the fuck said that? Who, Who said that? I've read that over the years. These smaller studies say that women lose interest in sex. As they get older, but it hasn't been my experience. I just thought that less people wanted to fuck them. Ugh. 
Because they're all old and shit. <laughs> but I guess if, if you're all old and shit too, you might as well, you know, fuck it. I used to tell that to my pop back in the day. I'm like, yo, bro, you're not, you're not that, you're not that spry 30 year old you thought you were. You're gonna have to lower your standards. And fucking. You're 70, living in government housing. You might have to fuck some ugly broads. He didn't listen. How young was he trying for? Psh, who the fuck knows? Probably like 40, 30 oh, okay. years younger than him. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm like, bro, <laughs> you, you don't got the money for that, man. <laughs> come, come to the this uh, government subsidized house that I live in and, and uh, check out the fucking... He, he used to have a clown on his couch too that would fucking scare the shit out of people. I'm like, bro, you can't, you ain't, you're not gonna get no pussy with some fucking toy clown. Yeah, that'd scare me. Like, what's going on with this guy? <laughs> Scary shit. <laughs> he was like, who's your mother's when she was little? I just holding on to it. I'm like, all right. That is, uh, that's pussy repellent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what's the oldest lady that you've had sex with? Like, shit, I don't know. Like, f 40s. 40s? No kidding. Yeah. Okay. I think I ticked up a little higher than that. Probably. Yeah, I'm sure you have. <laughs> Mid 50s. What? Well, that's how old you are. You fucking the uh -huh. same age. <laughs> By the way, I'm not 50, but I'm I'm getting there. Yeah. Close. <laughs> very, very close. No, but even in my 30s, I think I I had sex with uh, an older lady. Hell yeah, a getting lot, it in. Lots of fun. They know what they want, bro. They yeah. know what they want. Go after it. I'm not against banging old chicks. Something about menopause yeah. freaks me out, though. I should be happy about it because I could bust in them, but something, something's me. Like to me, that means they just turn their pussy gets turned off. You know what I mean? I guess. I know it. I shouldn't think <laughs> yeah. like that, but I'm just saying. Like I'm just like, ah, oh. her pussy's off, but she's, it's not. She's still on. She's still effective. Still there. Mm -hmm. And I thought you had to bring lube for them chicks, too. Yeah, maybe. I thought it was hard for them to juice up once I got past a certain age. God, I hate thinking about this. But we got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, odd, oddly enough. I think about old people fucking right now. Ugh. Well, odd, oddly enough, there's this older lady who lives uh, mid-state, and she wants me to fly up there and have sex with her. And she even said, hey, I've got plenty of condoms and lube. I was like, oh, wow. There you go. <laughs> I mean, lube it up. Yeah, to bring that up, okay? Condoms and loop. I mean, me. if she, how old is she? Like, it should be like I don't. Why am I using a condom on your old ass? I, th I think she's probably like fifty six or fifty seven or something. Yeah, she ain't have no kids. <laughs> she is aged. She could just ride that shit out. You know, she'll be fine. I'll br bring that up during the next conversation. Yeah, do that shit. Yeah. Like, what are you afraid of getting? <laughs> Having my kid getting AIDS? Shit, you you ain't gonna die of AIDS. You'll die of old age. Well, they're saying here that some 27% of the people they spoke to here said that sex remains very important throughout their 40s, 50s, 60s. Hey. Boy. And they even talk about women having sex in their 80s. Man, oh, man. Get after it. We'll see. Cocoon for all you 70s babies. Cocoon. Mm. That's when they all got young again from the alien water and then uh, started having fun with each other. That's right. I remember that family. Yes. Vaguely. All right. What up? All right. So it looks like this uh, Whitney Houston hologram is still coming around. And now their estate is upset with this current guy. He made this hologram. It was featured in some sort of Scott Storch broadcast. And uh, now they're planning on suing the guy. I mean, I I've read that they want to do this at some point. They were even talking about a tour. Wait, so the family wants to do it or doesn't want to do it? Well, I remember, was it last year or something? They were talking about a bona fide tour happening. But I guess, I mean, who knows? I guess the money's who, not right. Or How does, how does the company have rights to her, her likeness? How does what? How does the hologram company have rights to her likeness? Uh, because at some point they were, you know, it's, it's, it's a... a some sort of battle they're having. At some point, uh, there was a license, and then uh, they didn't like the look of it. And but the guy's pretty ballsy. He uh, he used it recently. I, I can send it to you. I mean, I don't like watching them shits. It's weird. It's like the 
like when you go see a celebrity impersonator, you you know that they're not them and they're just impersonating the celebrity. This one is like people are observing this thing as like it's real and then you you're putting words in its mouth that they may or may not have said say. Yeah, it's just so weird to me though that clearly there's money in this. Scott Storch is involved. He's a pretty yeah. serious person. Uh, I mean, people want to watch this for some reason. It's mystifying. Thank you. Sign up and vote. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> shit like that. You're like, whoa, would she have said that shit? Like, you know, like you don't know what the fuck. You don't. Uh, well, it's. I, in, I said it over and over again. It's just a high tech sock puppet. Same deal. Little puppet, but it's just better technology. Oh, I've got a quick clip of her talking if you want to hear her and if you look at your text you can see it all right let's see welcome to filmon's hologram theater and all of you beautiful people watching the live stream in vr and 360 only on filmon.com what you're about to see is truly incredible enjoy the show uh, i don't know it doesn't look man, incredible see? to me it's like a cartoon <laughs> that's weird man <laughs> i'm telling you yo yeah We live in a crazy world now. I can't I can't even call it. Like everyone has their own reality. You can literally pick whatever reality you want to live in and then just go find what's going to find the the places to go to that will tell you what you want to hear and you can live in that reality. I found that with friends. Like I'll just be like telling them facts and it'll just the, their eyes will just glaze over. Because it doesn't go with their reality. They're like, but I'd listen to this, and this is what that told me. I'm like, what, did you cross-reference it? No, because it's my reality. You know, it's just like fucking crazy, dude. You're like, okay, all right. Nothing, nothing more to say here. I'll just fucking keep on pushing. Yeah. Text crazy, man. Right. It is fucking nuts. Does this have any value to you whatsoever? I mean, if you could disappear into virtual reality uh, at some point and sort of f float around, is this interesting to you or no? You just, you'd rather hang out at the backgammon table? Uh, yeah, I, I like being me. I don't want to be in a virtual reality world and shit. So that's where I'm at mm. with it. My ho my science homie was telling me that they was doing some shit in science that's gonna be crazy within the next fifty years. Meaning what? They're developing the technology to beam motherfuckers all around, like beam me up, Scotty and shit. It's like what? Fucking crazy. Are you talking about like a Star Trek? Uh... Yeah. Hmm. They're working on some Star Trek shit. He tried to explain it to me, but it was I was in the middle of the grieving process, and I really didn't hear the whole fucking didn't hear the whole thing. But he seemed pretty stoked about it. I think there's some challenges that they have to work out, but hey, I do it. Beam around, yeah. What the fuck? I won't be the first one. No. Come out, come come back all inside out and shit. I'm good on that, but yeah. Fucking hey, there it is. All right, so the TikTok teens, they're now. Uh, filing down their teeth with uh, with, with emery boards, what and nail the files. Fuck! What the fuck? What the fuck? So I'm, I'm covering my fucking face. Oh, I Jesus see. Christ! I don't even want to see it. Oh, I could I could play the audio. And this this lovely uh, young lady, uh, she's sitting there, and then she uh, starts to straighten her teeth. This is uh, insane. Oh, it's just so. Unpleasant. File my teeth down with a nail file because they are not perfect. Uh, I have some ridges, and uh, we're balling uh, on a budget. Trigger warning. Oh, yeah, guys, it's literally working. Wait, let me give myself oh. some vampire teeth now. Dude, wow. All right, guys. This is the final process. Okay, and yes, she's just fucking up her. Oh, her shit's gonna be so tender. She's. Give it's her a cup of ice water after that shit. <laughs> it's gonna light her the fuck up. Where am I living right now? Who the fuck does this? Oh, I'd have to sit down with my kids every night and go, okay, what is going on in your life? <laughs> I mean, man, I would, yo, I would smash that phone. I would be like, 
I break the phone. I wouldn't let her touch shit in the fucking house. And like here's here's some crayons on a coloring book. Play with that shit, man. You can't you phone privileges are gone. And so on TikTok now though, this video we just watched has this uh warning at the bottom. Potential dangerous action. Uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you fucking up your your mouth. Yeah, but over there filing your teeth, man. Leave that shit to dentists. And obviously the doctors are weighing in and saying that you're really doing serious damage to your, to your uh, teeth. Oh yeah. We're going to have a whole crop of fucking, like, pointy teeth idiots. Pointy teeth idiots. I w shout out to all the people that listen. What's going on with y'all cats that stretch your ears out? Like, how's that going for you? Like, are you still, are you, st I'm serious, because it was like all the rage for fucking, I don't know, a few years. Are you still stretching them? Are they stretched? Uh, d did you get them to come back? I'm just Oh, that's right. Those, those. How, how, how do you, if you do want them to come back, I heard that preparation H helps that shit, but that was just, you know, maybe an old wives tale. Or you just stuck there with like some fucking dangling ass ears. Ear. That's like a commitment. Oh, you're deforming yourself. Ear gauging, as they yes. call it. Gauge. Is it the smaller the gauge, the bigger it is? Uh... Got like an eight gauge. Uh, I'd have to look into that. Not really that well versed. I'm not sure either. Have you ever uh, messed around with a lady who had uh, gauges in? A lot, lots of piercings and stuff. I remember one chick I was fucking with. She had a bunch of uh, piercings all over herself, but like the oil kind of coagulates and gets rancid around it, and she smelled like a bag of Doritos. Oh. It, was, it was really hard to get by because she was cute, but I was like, oof. Yeesh. She had uh, vaginal piercings, too? Nah. Oh. It's like all about the face and oh. lip, neck. Or, I mean, uh, ear and shit. I just remember because I was kissing on her ear, and I was like, damn, it smells like Cool Ranch Doritos. Nice. Like, oh, that's her fucking, that's some piercings. Got mm -hmm. one in four singles who had sex during the lockdown did it with their own roommate, according to this new survey. So people are having sex, but uh, they're going to their friends. That makes sense, man. That's what, that's that's some jokes that they do on the on the Navy dudes all the time about them being gay because they'll be away at sea for so fucking long that they just start fucking each other. I'm sure it's happened. So man, you we've been this shit has been going on for fucking ever. So yeah, cat's not getting out. That roommate starts looking like a snack. Like, hey, hey, you. Would you ever have sex with your roommate? I've so, never. I never have had sex with a roommate. No. Are you not opposed to it though? I don't. I try not to shit where I eat. Right. Like, there's so much pussy out there. I used to fuck girls that I worked around, like in the same in the same like store or company or whatever, and that was already that was pretty. That turned out to be sticky. Yes. So, fucking someone that I live with? Nah. As plutonically? Nah. I mean, do you think it's impossible that that would that this would just it's the risk more reward ain't, the risk reward ain't worth it. Right. It's just not worth it. You gotta like I'm I'm a prag pragmatic gentleman. All right, like yo man, I'm doing pretty good on rent here. I ain't going nowhere no time soon. Do you ruin that by fucking putting your dick in this chick? Or do you just, like, keep it cruising and, like, you know, fuck her homegirls? Mm. And this is the category that I fit into here. At least, it's, it's like, uh, about 71% of survey participants manage to spend their quarantine without any sex. So hey. That is a big category. I have had sex. But not as much, but yeah, I, f I fucked on and off. I've had some like surprise booty calls and shit. They just call me up at like twelve thirty, like, "Hey, I'm in your neighborhood." I'm like, all right, come on through. Just driving by. Yeah, I guess getting dinner or some shit. Hey, what's up? I'm like, shit, nothing. Come over. And then I tell them like, well, usually I gotta be up at a certain time. I'm like, y'all got a heart out. I give my heart out. Like, you got to be gone by now. Bam. Like that booty, booty calling bail. 
I did sign up for Bumble the other day, so at some point I'll take a look at that. See if I can get something going. Bam. Who knows? All right, and one more sex topic here. And I was reading about uh, sex in the Middle Ages for some reason. And rimming, when you lick someone's asshole, was all over the art. Uh, yeah, man, I've been seeing that <laughs> shit. I see, I see, like, pictures, like, English pictures. Like, some dude will be drinking a fucking, like, some ale out of one of those fucking, those German mugs and shit and getting his asshole licked. But it's... It's not because they were really into rimming, because there were a whole bunch of rules uh, that you had to follow back then. Uh, you know, stuff about sex was only permissible if uh, the couple had been married for more than three days, the wife was hey. not menstruating, pregnant, hey. nursing. Hey, hey. It was nighttime on a Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday. I mean, it just gets crazy. But, wow. And when it comes to the r rimming, though, that was seen as so morally deficient. It was more of a joke. So, and that's where kiss my ass comes from. So you were pretty much demonic if you were licking someone's ass. So rimming was just like so fucking crazy. Right. That, like they would just joke about it. It was just so unthinkable. But I'm sure people were doing it. So it was like drawing penises on on top of like billboards now or right. some shit like that. There's, that shit is basically rimming. Pictures of rimming was... So they weren't doing it. They were just drawing about it. Well, I'm sure people were doing it, but it was just so... Forbidden. It was just, I mean, you were just, what's the word here? Uh, morality. Your morality was distorted. Ugh. I can't even imagine the rimming back then, too, because, like, Ugh. couldn't really clip shit. I don't know if they had toilet paper yet or whatever the fuck they used. Probably just bark. Hygiene was uh, probably, probably not a priority. Wipe ass with a branch or some shit and just got to it. How often do you... Get involved with uh, analingus, as they call it here. Yeah, every now and again, I'll fucking I'll I'll visit there, but I don't I don't spend the whole weekend. You know what I mean? I drop in for a little second, but I don't I don't be in that shit all day. Uh, it looks again for the the, the it's like the pussy's right here, and then the asshole's like two inches down or some shit. So you like you might you might as well stop in and say hello, like hey asshole. But you're not going to stick your tongue sort of in her anus or something? Not for a long time. <laughs> Just long enough to show, show that I care. And it looks like uh, someone who sends semen into the mouth shall do penance for seven years. This is the worst of evils. So the person receiving the oral is also in some trouble. Yeah, they wanted you coming inside of your girl so that you can get her pregnant. Sex was for, for procreation. Yeah, it looks like... Not for pleasure. Bestiality wasn't that big of a deal back then either. I mean, towards the end it was, but... Uh, <laughs> boy, oh boy. Damn, man, it was going ham over there. Yeah. Is there anything in your world uh, that, that's, that's uh, off limits? Something? I don't like that poop shit. Oh, God, no, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> that's... It's kind of where it's, I'm pretty open-minded to everything, but like for girls, like let's do some poop things. I'm like, no, no, that's not happening. I've yet had, I've yet had to have a girl ask me that shit, but nah, I ain't pooping on her. She ain't pooping on me. Shit stops right there. I think that's a wise move. Thanks. So it looks like uh, the older people are younger today and more mentally and physically fit than 30 years ago which is not really a surprise but uh we're living longer yeah. and better so you seem to be on track to lead a healthyish life in your older years right who me yeah kind shit. of i don't know we'll see <laughs> i've done a lot of damage like i've ate well and shit but like i've done some other damage to myself in a major way so we'll see it's a crapshoot six one way half dozen the other you know what i mean well, with all the, the drugs and stuff, do you think it's the, the brain that's going to suffer? The heart? I don't know, bro. I fucking, <laughs> I can't call it, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I can't. I don't, well, we'll see. Yeah. Probably, 
I'll probably die before my sister. I'm guessing that much. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm guessing that much. She lives a much healthier lifestyle than I do. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. I'm sure my sister Faith, she's going to press on without me. Yeah. I'm just going to be fucking... But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Can't dwell on those things. Just got to keep on living. Well, and here's the thing now. One of the possible drawbacks of living longer is that many seniors are in need of continuous medical care once they reach their final years. So that's kind of a downside. Well, that's when I'm like, come on, let's, let's, let's let nature take its course. I know they don't want to do that shit, but, like, I get it, like, if there's a surgery and then they can be good, you know what I mean? But, like, if they're just constantly at the fucking hospital, dude. Like if they're constant, if they're going to the doctor once a week on some shit, it's like I don't know. And I'm sure I'd feel differently if it, when it's when it's in my fucking you know when it's my body when it's my life I'm talking about. I'll probably do everything I can to stop right. it. But as an outsider, you're just looking at it pragmatically. Like, come on, man. Like, what are you doing there? Yeah, I'll probably have to convince my sister to get me some heroin or something. Try that out in the hospital. Some shit. I don't know. I got family members that be, in, you know, like, they'd be at the doctor twice a week and then chain smoking still. You know what I mean? It's just like, right. like you, what the fuck you doing, man? You, you want to stay alive or not? Well, you, they want their cake and eat it too sometimes, which I'm not crazy about. Yeah, I remember when my dad was in the hospital. He called me a pig. He'd bring me some beer. I was like, eh, you know, eh, probably not the best time for that. Yeah. I mean, when, you know, like, if a cat's on their deathbed, you know, fucking bring them whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, here you go, man. Here's some beer, crack, heroin, fucking go ham. Spaz out. I don't care. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they live longer, but they just tend to need more money. Me, yeah, yeah, need more money to fucking stay alive. Keep the whole thing going. Mm -hmm. I do have some good news. Lay it on me. Excuse me. And now, time for good news. Now, this lady is definitely old. Uh, she is 84, and she's the world's oldest female sharpshooter. And so, she is out of India, Chandro Tomar. And she never picked up a gun until she was 65, but she has won all of these uh, championships over in India. Nice. She, she's famous over there. Is she is she shooting against people her age or younger or what's everybody? It? Oh, nice. Yeah, she's just killing everybody. Uh, and I, I play her, but it's just you know she's. Yeah, that's her shooting. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, she speaks with like a sitar. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea what she's I'll saying. I fucking there. kill you. She said that. You, you come to me, you come to my place, I fucking kill you. I'll, I'll, here, go ahead, play more. All right, let's go back and see what she has to say. Yeah. My name is Chandra Tomar. I'm 84. Bitches want smoke, I'll give them smoke. <laughs> Give me the stick. Put a motherfucker on his ass. <laughs> I'll shoot your titty off, bitch. Yep, that was a, look at her. Yep. And uh, she is teaching uh, the other girls in the village uh, how to shoot. So she's teaching them self-defense, just how to compete. Nice. There she's milking a cow. Lots going on in her world. I know how to milk a cow. <laughs> <laughs> when she's not milking cows, she's sharpshooting shit. I'm not fucking with this lady, dog. 84. Badass. All right. That's the news. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. You, you, you. What up, though? This is the All Out Show, and we are about to go. I want to thank everybody for listening in. Appreciate each and every one of you. Truly, I do. Uh, thanks to the whole team working. We got Kanan, Jade, John, myself, just cranking them out for you. Gives you a little something to listen to on these long days. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Once again, follow the show at All Out Show on everything. 
Kenan's always got fucking dope uh, surveys and what have you. One more Jude is my Instagram. One more Jude.com if you want to buy some clothes and shit. We're working on the hyena exclusive. We just got to find the right color shirt. And uh, I think that's about it. Oh, yeah, my, my, for my mixes. Text 213-205-3747. 213-205-3747. All right. Let's get it.